I'm going to show you how to make gorgeous ombre frosting that blends from light to dark gradually, instead of in distinct bands or stripes of colour around the cake. Start with two bowls of frosting, one with twice as much as the other bowl. I'm using my 4-minute buttercream, but this will work with whipped cream or meringue buttercream too. Tint the big bowl of frosting with the lighter colour, and the small bowl with the darker colour, using gel colours for the most vibrant shades. Place your cake on a non-slip mat on a turntable after the crumb coat has set. Scoop up some of the lighter frosting with an offset spatula and spread it onto the top of the cake, spreading it over the edges of the cake to avoid air pockets there later on. Smooth the frosting on the top of the cake by holding your offset spatula at a 45 degree angle and spinning the cake, and then move on to the sides of the cake, only spreading this lightest colour around the very top of the sides of the cake and letting it stick up above the top edge of the cake which will allow you to create a very flat top on your cake, instead of a domed top. Now scoop up a bit of the darker colour and add it to the lighter colour, stirring it together to create a shade a little bit darker than the original colour that was in this bowl. Leave some of the lightest colour on the side of the bowl to use for touch-ups later. Spread the new colour just below the first colour on the cake, spreading it on as thickly as the previous colour. It's fine if you spread it over the previous colour, it's all going to blend together in a minute. Add more of the darkest colour to the bowl to make a darker shade of the lighter colour, leaving a bit of the previous colour on the side of the bowl to use later, and mix the new colour together and then spread this onto the cake immediately below the previous colour. The wider the band of colour you spread on, the fewer shades you'll fit onto your cake, so for an ombre with more shades within the gradient, spread very narrow bands of colour onto the cake and then you'll be able to fit in more shades. After spreading each shade onto the cake, add more of the darkest colour to the bowl, Mix it together, leaving a bit of the previous colour saved on the side of the bowl for later, and spread the new colour onto the cake. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please click the thumbs up button to like it, and subscribe to my channel for a new cake decorating tutorial every week. When you get to the bottom of the cake, use just the darkest colour to spread on the final band of colour. Make sure you spread it all the way down to the cake board, so the crumb coat is completely covered up and you won't have any gaps at the bottom of your cake. Now use a frosting smoother and scrape around the cake once, resting the frosting smoother down on the cake board to line it up to create straight sides on the cake. Remember the small amounts of each shade of frosting you saved on the side of the bowl? Here's where they come in. Scoop them up to spread onto the cake to fill in any indents in the frosting. You can use the darker shades to fill in indents lower down on the cake, and the lighter shades to fill in indents at the top. Or vary it. So here I'm using darker shades at the top to make the blending more gradual. It's fun to play around with the different shades as you do touch-ups, and once the sides are as blended and as smooth as you want them to be, move on to the top of the cake by scraping the overhanging frosting towards the middle of the cake with your offset spatula, and then swiping the spatula off the cake to take the excess frosting off with it. Scrape that frosting into your bowl and wipe the spatula clean and repeat around the top edge to leave sharp edges and a flat top surface of the cake. When the top is finished, check the top edge for indents, and if you have any, Spread more frosting onto those, choosing from the shades you have in your bowl, and scrape around the cake again with your frosting smoother. Tidy up the top edge of the cake again, and if you want to use up the leftover shades of frosting you have in your bowl, add a border on top of the cake by mixing the colours together and spooning them into a piping bag. For this cake, I'm using a 1M star tip and I'm piping a rope border. For more ideas, check out my tutorial on 5 borders you can pipe with a 1M tip, and the link is in the top of the screen and in the video description. For monthly cake inspiration, join my club for access to all of my online classes as well as interactive online demonstrations and Q&A sessions. The link for my cake school is at the top of the screen and in the video description. Thanks for watching!